have always thought that people should have a choice and then it became really personal. After several rounds of chemotherapy, doctors told Sarah Witte they had done all they could for her son Andy. He was going to die of brain cancer. He just had pain, like the worst headache on earth. That pain persisted through his 17-month fight and got so bad it couldn't be controlled at home any longer. The 27-year-old had to live out his final days in hospice care. He didn't want to go to the end and experience that pain at the end. and. We didn't have a choice. Seven years after Andy's death, other families may have a chance at making that choice. The death with dignity bill would allow a physician to prescribe a medication that a terminally ill patient with a limited life expectancy could take when he or she is ready to die. It's not a new subject for Maine or for the bill's sponsor, Senator Roger Cates. He introduced similar legislation in 2015, but it was defeated. Now that a couple of years have passed and people have heard more about how similar legislation has worked in other states, Cates believes it's time to have another conversation here in Maine. But groups like the Maine Hospice Council remain convinced that dying with the help of a doctor is not the best way forward. The group says effective pain and symptom management is a attainable through hospice care and that efforts should be put toward expanding the end of life care infrastructure in Maine. Concerns from others have included moral issues surrounding suicide and the fear that change could be a slippery slope. For Sarah, it's about leaving this world on your own terms, something she says her son would have wanted if he could have had it. I would like patients who are facing the end to have a choice. It's not suicide if you know you're dying pretty soon. You're just saying this is when, this is how. Senator Cates says this bill is modeled after one in Vermont, which is one of the states with a death with dignity statute in place. California, Colorado, uh, the District of Columbia, and Washington State also have this type of law. With this new proposal, there's a list of criteria for a person to have if they choose to have death with dignity. They must be diagnosed with a terminal condition with a doctor's prediction that they would die within six months. The patient must request the drug from their doctor in person and then make a second request in person at least 15 days later and there's a third request this time written stating the patient understands what they're asking for their physician also has to be in contact with the pharmacist about the prescription now all of that's just for the patient there's some regulations for the doctors as well and there's a lot that goes into this it's not a very simple matter so we did post the entire bill on our website so you can take a look at it if you're interested but obviously something that has a lot of people polarized hey.